Now the cavity is ready for bonding. Then I build up the restoration with A1 enamel. With a slow speed round burr, I'll remove any excess along the margins and adjust any high occlusal spots. We etch with Kerr's 37% phosphoric acid and follow that with an adhesive application using 3M's Scotch Bond Universal. I begin the restoration with a thin layer of flowable to adapt to the pulpal floor. Then I build up the restoration with A1 enamel. Uh, the material is very easy to adapt to the cavity walls and shape to the desired form. I place and cure each cusp's support individually. I use an explorer also to define, at the end, the primary anatomy between each cusp slope. With a slow speed round burr, I'll remove any excess along the margins and adjust any high occlusal spots. I then finish with some rubber tip composite polishers to achieve a smooth surface. We were able to successfully restore the patient with a direct resin restoration that's both strong and provides great natural aesthetics. Two days after the procedure, the patient reached out to me and told me all of the pain and sensitivity has stopped. As a clinician, it's gratifying to be able to take our patients out of pain and address their issues in the least invasive way possible.